You see this bird on my shoulder? Look at the bird, Floppy. Oh my god! Just the tip. <laughs> hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and today we're having a look at some cursed items from Temu. Quite some time ago, I asked my Twitch audience to join me to do some shopping for the most cursed items that we could possibly find. For the sake of search engine optimization and discoverability, let's go through some key terms right now that'll help this video get picked up in the YouTube recommended page. What is Temu? Is Temu worth the money? Is Temu a scam? We'll find out on today's episode of Temu Haul. So without further ado, let's head back to a time when I wasn't wearing a clip-on ponytail and let's have a look at shopping for these items on Temu. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, here we go. We're gonna open up the first one. So it's the I refuse to become a chicken nugget, which I appreciate. I like that, look how mad he is. This is basically what my rooster chief channels this vibe. Look, he's even got that fry pan. Um, that's obviously he's holding his mobile phone to anyone that remembers the phone case that I added to my card. <laughs> I do like this, but I'm gonna keep my eye out for some different signs because I can only have so many. And as much as I like this, it's not quite, not quite my colour scheme. Hmm. This, on the other hand, this is definitely my vibe. <laughs> this is, um, this little guy's from Harry Potter, isn't he? He's a, uh, what do they call them? He's the one, they, they, they scream when you pull them out of the grass or out of the dirt. They do what when you pull them out of what? Or these, they, when you, in, in the movies, in the Harry Potter movies, when you grabbed onto the top of them and you yanked them up, they'd be like, <laughs> and then you had to put them back in the dirt and they'd stop screaming. <laughs> Me when I get taken out of my room. <laughs> I love this. I'm adding this to the card for sure. If there's only one, it only comes with one, but how, and how big are they? 20 centimeters. Hey, that's not a bad size. A mandrake! Mandrake, thank you. And thank you, Ashley, for using your bits. Thank you so much. Wow, that sounded really weird. Thanks for using your bits. Thank you for using your seed points. Is Temu like she? And Temu's more like Wish. It seems, I haven't bought anything yet. Um, it, it seems like Wish products on an AliExpress interface. Uh, and I'm like 80% certain it's the same company, to be honest. I think that they just gave it a makeover because they were like, nah, Wish isn't popular anymore. Let's just invest all our money in building some new platform so people think that they're buying from a different website, but it's actually the same. <laughs> now the next cursed item. It's fucking hilarious. That's it. No talk, only burger. <laughs> no talkie, me angie. Me in Angie. It's not an Angus beef burger, it's an Angie beef burger. <laughs> oh, delicious foods! Mood. <laughs> this is so funny! Wait, you know what would be hilarious? Having a dream! If I get this, and then I set some like ridiculous goal so that when people donate, um, you know, like 10,000 seed bits, I have to sit with this on my head for half an hour. <laughs> have to stop playing whatever game I'm playing and I have to put the burger on my head. It's like, you gotta sit in the naughty corner. You gotta put the burger on your head. It's kind of expensive. It's got 23 reviews. Oh, look, here we go. Very nice. It's bigger than I expected, but that's definitely a good thing for me. <laughs> the fabric is really good and doesn't rip easily. And so is the inside of the burger. You could also store things inside. I put my iPad and wallet in there, along with some other things. And I still use it as a pillow, because you can't feel anything but the pillow itself. Real comfortable. Wait, take it to, you take it to university. So you know like, when you've been up studying all night, you go to uni, you sit one class, you gotta wait a while for your next class, you go to the canteen, and you need to have a sleep, and you like fall asleep on the desk, but you're really worried because your bag is next to you, and you're like, what if I'm sleeping and someone tries to rob me while I'm at the, you know, I'm sitting outside the kebab shop at uni, and someone might try to steal my stuff. Mm -mm, no more. You take your burger with you, you put your stuff into the burger, you put your head into the burger, you lay your head on the table in the cafeteria at uni, 
and you can safely snooze. <laughs> okay, it is giant. It's so much big. Like, look at that person's head and look how big this burger is. Okay, I think it's actually, I think it may actually be worth, the I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. 424 people have this in their cart. All right, maybe I can convince 400 people to buy this burger, possibly. <laughs> now look at this. This is a crime. Who sent this? Was this raw? This was raw, wasn't it? I don't mean the meat was raw. I mean the username in the chat was raw. Like, you know, like scene raw, like that. It was you, wasn't it? This is, this is illegal. You know what? I may even come down with the ban hammer because you dared to send me this. Oh, I did it. It was you. It was Crickster. It wasn't raw. It was Crickster. You, this is, you're skating on thin ice, Crickster, but you would dare send me this giant pig trotter, big chicken leg simulation food pillow, cushion sofa waist pillow, office chair backrest waist pillow. It's disgusting. <laughs> Need, needed to be stuffed more. The, the turkey needed more stuffing this Christmas. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Lack of stuffing, but can always get more. It's a joke pillow for my dad, so it does the job. <laughs> Looks used and is very ugly. Buddy, what did you expect? Hang on, you, you did this to yourself. You looked at that and you gave it two stars because it's very ugly. Hang on, wait. Oh, there's others. Oh, there's Pig Trotter. Ah! <laughs> no, no, this is no good. What's this one? A sardine. I'm really sorry I screeched. I'm so that. I didn't even. I didn't mean to screech. It frightened me. <laughs> that thing came up on the screen. This, this, fine. This, bueno. This, no bueno. <laughs> Grilled squid pillow. Hey, that actually looks kind of nice. That looks like something you'd buy in Japan. That looks like grill, that looks like squid that's been put on a charcoal grill with like okonomiyaki sauce and mayonnaise. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. This, hmm, this is not, it's not too offensive. You could give someone that as a gift and send a lot of very different messages by doing so. To anyone that's just arrived, I'm just gonna show you, we're looking at cursed items from Temu. I'm gonna give these a cursed rating out of 10, okay? Um, cursed, one out of 10, not particularly cursed. One out of 10, not particularly cursed. Seven out of 10, disgusting and heinous. Three out of 10. Mm, I'm gonna down, downgrade that to a two out of 10, not particularly cursed. Seven out of 10, kind of cursed. P particularly cursed, actually. Four out of 10, it's just a fish. Four out of 10. And I'm gonna get that for Clay. He can sit on it while he's streaming. It's over 9,000. Disgusting. This also has, pff, I particularly like seeing it to scale. Look at the, you know what? This looks like something you'd see in like a haute couture runway show, to be honest. Like the things that they have models holding these days. <laughs> What's this? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no. As if he wasn't cursed enough already, they had to break his fucking neck. <laughs> it's eyes. Ugh, no, 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 no. Mom, can we get food? Mom, those pillows are the food at home. <laughs> uh, oh, look at his funny little hands. No, this is not okay. This is bad cursed. You know, some items are good cursed, right? Like, like the, the fish pillow, good cursed. Pig trotter pillow, bad cursed. These aliens, bad cursed. No, don't like this. Don't, I don't like this. <laughs> Who did this? Who did this? Speak now. Who did this? Me, this was you again, Crickster. You've committed a lot of crimes. And I stout Pennywise. 
Disgusting. Look, you can get a bundle. You can get a bundle. Great, so you can give one to all of your cursed friends. Ba 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 da 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 quack. This is awful. <laughs> awful. <laughs> it's awful. It's awful. <laughs> Doc Trump has better hair. <laughs> no, why? Okay, this is our last... Who did this? Who, who did this? They painted the fingernails! No! No, I don't like that! I don't like that at all! <laughs> if I get this, I'm so gonna give it, like, acrylic nails. Steffi has sent... The resemblance is uncanny. Wow. The resemblance is weirdly uncanny. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> Sponge cake has sent... Crickstow. It's Pickle Rick. Pickle rig, rickle pickle rig, pickle pickle rig, rickle pig, pickle rickle pig. <laughs> I kind of like those. <laughs> okay, all right, we're gonna review. This Garfield, I like him. Picasso, I like it. Um. Okay, he's he looks a lot more drunk. Uh, makes a great graduation gift. What? What do you mean it makes a great graduation gift? It's hilarious. I love it. Granddaughter loves fur cat, look just like her tiger kitten, Mel made nice size, not a bad price! Alright, <laughs> someone's very passionate about Garfield. What's this? Oh! <laughs> Why does he have a cigarette? Why? What? what? I love it so much, oh my lordy lord. Her name is Garfelia. The clothes on her do not come with it. You are really cursed. I hate you so. Oh, Garfelia! Why would anyone buy you? Don't know. <laughs> He's in a tree. Hmm. He's funny. But also, I don't want him. <laughs> Banana duck. Ring, 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 ring. Banana duck. Do, 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 do. Realistic shape? Ah, yes. Realistic shape. Um, so I have Banana Duck. He's really small. I got him off Wish, and this is the exact same listing. Um, yeah, he's, he's like this big. I put him in my succulent garden bed, and every time I looked at him, he made me smile. He's just a silly, silly goose. Um, for only $3.40, I do recommend Banana Duck. Oh, look, Fidget Spinner Pen with LED light. What? Hey, that's kind of cool. Whoa, I really like that. The pen can help you reduce stress and anxiety? Oh my god, look! This is me! Ugh. Ugh, so stressed. That's me, constantly. <laughs> when my psychic powers aren't working. <laughs> hmm, I need this. I need this pen. I'm gonna get it in gold. <laughs> Buff shark. Oh, he's huge! 38 centimeters. He's so big! Oh my god, look how b he's so swole! He's so cute, so freaking cute and thick. And the bobs are huge. The bobs? And love to sleep with and squish. And it's so soft. I love how it feels. It's a really good size. It's not small nor huge. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Nice. I'll add him to the cart, just on the off- look at this Garfield, he is so cursed! Okay, just on the off chance that I do decide to get him. This- this is terrible. This is- why does it have 16 reviews? I love it, bro! 
it's so goofy and makes me chuckle. I usually don't, but too much stuff animals, but I had to get this. I would definitely recommend. I love it, bro. <laughs> I hate it, bro. It's awful. What do you mean I love this so much? It's so cute. What are you on? I love this stupid thing. I'm glad to have blessed my home with tube flopper. <laughs> Fantastic. I bought this as a gift for someone and they loved it. I hate to break it to you, Jed, but I don't think they loved it. I think they were just being polite. <laughs> My little brother loves Big Flopper. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Big Flopper is a thing? I'm too scared to Google it. I don't, I don't think putting Big Flopper into Google is going to give me the wholesome results that I think it is. Is an actual Caracal cat? All right, I'll Google it. Big flopper cat. Oh! Oh, I see, I see. Oh, he's so cool. He does kind of look like a tube. That's so fun. What? What the? Who are you? Why have I never heard of this man before? Look at him. He's so majestic. Big flopper. Bingus. <laughs> Okay, I understand now. Seeing him, I now understand why the toy looks like this. That cat does kind of look like a leg of ham. Um, okay, let's have a look through these. That one... <laughs> it's kind of cute. Hate that one. Absolutely. Oh, oh, they're named. Muggle Grandma. Aunt Minnie. Father John. Angry Margaret. <laughs> Ollie Beard Grandpa. Oh, I like him. He's wholesome. Who turned Dr. House into a planter? It's you, Laurie. It's you, Laurie. <laughs> you get home and find the planter making you dinner and your wife isn't home. What do you do? You leave your wife. Alright, I feel like we should get one. He's adorable, but also him. Ladies and gentlemen, him. <laughs> what is it? Face bank? Intelligent? Electric detecting piggy bank? Oh no, it's gonna go, isn't it? No, no, no. Uh, this is a crime. This is terrible. No, it's still going. Uh, no. Is it making noise? Hang on. Wait. Wait. Is there noise? Okay, thank God. It doesn't have sound effects. It just goes. If it was like. Or like. I'd be mortified. Who is buying this? Apparently, 166 people. It is really awful, though. This is not okay. Th who would purchase this and then have the genius idea to put false eyelashes on it? Me. <laughs> Me. I would do that. <laughs> so to whoever asked who is buying this, a lot of people, by the looks of things. A lot of people. Okay, face bank. Okay, what color? I'm, I'm gonna get it. I have to. It's a really good suggestion. You, you, you really did nail the brief. Um, the pink one reminds me of Mr. Meaty. I don't know who Mr. Meaty is and I don't want to meaty him. Next, next item. Worthless, worthless, worthless. These are so short and ill-fitting, it stings. Nothing at all feels right about these once you put them on. Too bad because they look nice. And if they were comfortable, I'd review it differently. Buddy, what did you expect? What did you expect? You you looked at that and you you really thought. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh-uh.
this? Can you feel it? I can, if I look at that, has anyone ever put like anything in between their toes for any reason? That specifically this, these, between these toes here, I can literally imagine what that would feel like to have a cord. I've, I've at points had a cord on the ground and like not wanted to stand up and I've like reached down with my little grabby toes and been like, where's my charger? And you bring it up. I can, I can feel it. Ugh. Ugh. Hi, this is the FBI I <laughs> reporting a crime. <laughs> Can't trust anyone with these in their house. No. I... Applause to whoever sent me this, but this... I draw... I have to draw the line somewhere. I must. And I draw the line at baby hands. <laughs> grabby toes. Oh, I have this. I got this off, uh, off Wish, and I put this up in my garden on a tree. These are great. Uh, these probably come from the same factory as the place that I got my one. They're incredible. I got, um, which one? I think I got that one from memory. <laughs> How are the reviews? How? That is the best tree to put it on oh my god this person is a genius look that tree is like ah it's like that elmo like ah there should be flames behind the tree that's incredible look at his arms <laughs> he's like a giant broccoli did anyone watch veggie tales <laughs> was it a trauma coming through this is incredible I want this tree. Never mind the eyeballs. I just want the tree. <laughs> Dino Wozni. Ah, oh, helpful. Extremely helpful. No, no, don't report. No. <laughs> extremely, extremely helpful. My favorite review. Oh, look, they've put another one. Okay, well, this one, I mean, this guy here, he gets a solid... 35 out of 10. <laughs> Posture, excellent. Shadows, perfect. Placement of the eyes, proportionate to the nose and the mouth. Spot on. You will love this. They do not disappoint. I'll be ordering others. No, no, no. Dina, you do not disappoint. <laughs> See, look, someone in the chat said that they have these. I absolutely love these adorable, cute, comfortable, fun, ergonomic, fun, fun, fun shark shoes. How much fun it is with this free quick shipping after paying the highest shipping prices of my life by far for years to a certain greedy China website that took us. I absolutely love these adorable, cute, comfortable, fun, ergonomic, fun, fun, fun shark shoes. Hang on, it's the same. Oh, hang on, wait. We took us to the cleaners with their ridiculously super expensive shipping charges. We sincerely hope you, we sincerely thank you and love shopping online with your great prices and free shipping. I wear these cute comfy shark ergonomic shoes every chance I get and so grateful to you. Tamu to the cleaners with their ridiculously super expensive shipping charges. <laughs> Dude. Dude, <laughs> relax. Halloween knuckle fingers. Creative gift. Do they... Oh my god. It actually... Hang on, has someone included a video? Someone's included a video! <laughs> it's salad fingers! Hang on, let's play that back. taken before I horrified my brother while he was asleep. He had nightmares for days and slept with his light on and he even set up a camera because of how scared he was. Truly an amazing experience. <laughs> Would rate more stars if I could. They are cool and loud so you can jump scare your cousins so they never come back to your house. John, if you're reading this, please come back. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you a heart attack. John is dead. Um, good lord. It's a snailian! It's a snailian! I am so offended that they've called it alien snail 
and they didn't call it a snailian. Missed opportunity, please tell me there's a review that calls it snailian. Love it, best gamer movie nerd decor. Even they didn't call it a snailian. What is wrong with these people? This is hilarious. It's hilarious, but also really terrifying. <laughs> I, in fact, I think it's too terrifying. So I don't want it. But I can appreciate it. Yodeling pickle. Right, next. This is the worst. This is... A toad wants to eat a swan. Why does he have a cowboy hat? This is awful. Oh, no! <laughs> Not magic up! No! This is awful! This is terrible. This is definitely this matches the brief perfectly. I hate him. This is great. I hope there's a- Yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> Super good headband. I love it. Super cute. Good quality. Go buy it. <laughs> what? Got this for my daughter. She has snails. Mystery snails, okay. <laughs> I... <laughs> I like this. Picasso. <laughs> this is so funny. <sighs> is this a good way to spend three dollars? Alright, add to cart. This is... This is terrible. I know it says it's a watermelon. That is in fact a pickle. And you can't convince me otherwise. Why is this? What? Not the cute kitty! <laughs> and the watermelon! This is awful! <laughs> this is so bad! No. This is terrible. This is punishment. Oh, it's actually kind of cute! Hang on. Why does she look so good? Why does she look so... Oh my god! Why does she look so good? <laughs> I'll add it to the cart for now and then we'll cull the cart and we'll figure it out later. This is... This is terrible. This is... Terrible. Aw, oh, he's just a little guy. He's very sad. He's... he's when you've had a bad day You've had a bad day You've had a bad day you had a bad day I didn't fart, my ass blew you a kiss Be gone This is... This is not okay. Choke me, daddy. <laughs> hey, that's fucking sick. All right, it's time. We must, we must cull, we must cull the cart, okay? It's time. The time has come! Hen hen. Hmm. What do we think? What do we think? Have I made the right choices? Well, you know what? That's not cursed. So I feel like I shouldn't get that. I mean, to be fair, the burger is also n not cursed. This is not cursed. After the cursed Temu Hall. Mm. Burger's not cursed. Burger is needed! <laughs> Burger isn't needed. It is not cursed. 
Cursed shoes, burger is expensive, not worth 40. A burger head is cursed. Burger is necessary. Burger isn't cursed and it's expensive. Buy burger, get the damn burger. Burger important. The great burger debate. <laughs> expensive for a cheap site. Burger, no burger. Burger head channel point redemption is mandatory. This needs a poll. Get the burger another time. Now I'm craving a burger. Important! Burger is needed to hide your head from the cursed shit. No burger. Buy the burger. Or kidnap Shane. Burger. <laughs> Pro burger. Burger yes. Boo burger. Yes burger. You have to get the burger. Burger now. My bunnies say burger. No curse. No list. Poll, poll, poll. I don't know how to do a poll. Fuck you burger. Get the burger. Burger. Borgar is valid. Thinking of your migraine times. Hide head in burger. No burger needs burger. Get the burger. <laughs> Buy the burger. <laughs> burger never. But burger head justice for the burger. <laughs> oh, there's a poll. It appeared. Oh, wow. Burger. Burger won. The po burger stays. <laughs> it's pickle dick. All right, with that, I'll head off. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> oh, almost sold out. All right, I better put my cart through. Okay, thank you guys so much. <laughs> See you later. Thank you for being here. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. As excited as I was for these items to arrive, I did in fact delay the gratification and did not open this parcel until now. So without further ado, let's get a screenshot for the thumbnail. Uh, we need to look very, very shocked. <gasps> oh, oh my god! <gasps> oh, any idea what that is? Those of you that were paying attention to the shopping footage, does anyone remember what that is? That, my friends, appears to be a burger pillow! Yay! Can function as a handbag. Put on head, natural response to opening the burger pillow. <laughs> Pillow with blanket holding function. So what, I'm supposed to be able to sit with my hands inside it like that and fall asleep like this. Low key, very, very cozy, I will say. A chair, a seat maybe? It's actually extremely plush. It is so plush. Far better quality than I ever could have imagined. I, th I thought that this was just gonna be some rubbish. This is my first item I've ever received from Temu. And I'm pleasantly surprised. It's not bad at all. So on the back side of this, it actually has these little silicon, I don't know what this is, these little paw prints. And they're for sticky purposes. In other words, it's probably a seat cushion because you sit it like this and uh, then it won't it won't slide around. It's, you know, like a grippy sock situation. I may very well sit on this right now, but there's something about the thought of putting the burger on the chair and sitting on it and then putting my face on the burger that just doesn't quite sit right with me. So I'm going to have to choose, is it one or the other? I think you open it and sit? Ah, you know what? You could be onto something. See, now suddenly, it's a cat bed. Honestly, this is multi-purpose, multi-functional, made very, very, very surprisingly well. If I was going to give it a quality rating from one to 10, one being trash from Dumpland and 10 being, I wouldn't know if it was Louis Vuitton, we're gonna give it a six. Oh. <gasps> oh, I have a friend for you. Completely forgot about this. It's Shane's blue chicken. I have one on each shoulder. You know, for a start, I expected this to be bigger. I thought it would be a lot bigger. It's also low-key kind of munted. His eyeballs are not quite sitting right. His eyeballs look like the seed fermented in the barrel and he drank the whole thing. Comparing to the live model, they are actually quite similar. The body shape, if we have a look at the feet, and we've got the anatomically correct model to our left here. About the right size. Look, I'd say the wings are a little bit wrong. And I'd say that the beak, not quite correct. But, um, He's cute, he's definitely... We're gonna give this a two. I'm not in love with the shape of you, I'm sorry. He's very lopsided. His face is a little bad, but you know, he's one of Shane's chickens, so what can you expect? Okay, instead of banana for scale, it's real life chicken for scale. <laughs> now, what have we... Oh my God, I forgot about this. When your face bank never declines. Now, I don't know if this is going to have any batteries with it, but here he is. And I'm surprised. On our scale of quality, 
This actually seems like something you would buy if you went to a shopping center and there's those little booths, you know those booths that just kind of sell random crap? It's not a shop, it's just sort of in the middle of the hallway and they, they sell all sorts of as seen on TV things. This feels like that sort of quality. Now he doesn't have any batteries. The child is chewing on my earrings. Why this? Parrots take my earrings, pigeons take my earrings. We can't check this out right now, I'm sorry. Most unfortunate, because I really did want to see this little guy launching down on some coins, but ugh. okay, well that's not a good start. The battery cover does not want to stay. Stay! Ugh. Hopefully that's not broken. Quality, not bad. Must find some batteries to test him out. So I'm gonna have to insert some footage testing this thing out, but he is heinous and terrifying and I hate him. He's staring into your soul right now. He doesn't want you to put coins. He wants you to sacrifice your firstborn child. Give it to me, give it to me now. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, yeah. Next item. Okay, this is getting very uncomfortable. So Shane's chicken is gonna have to move. Oh! I have no recollection whatsoever of ordering this, but as far as ticking the box for Cursed, I think it passes with flying colours. He's heavy, he's uh, actually quite well painted. There's a couple of little spots, if you have a look right up here, where he looks a little bit janky. You know what, he's gonna be a desk pal. I was gonna say he's gonna be a garden pal, but I feel like he'd get very easily lost in the garden. So he's gonna have to sit next to my indoor house plants. Oh! <laughs> I also don't remember ordering this. I love him. I fucking love him. I love him. What are these called? I can't remember. They're from Harry Potter. He's a, a mandrake. Oh my God, I love him. <gasps> oh, he's so cute. Who is more Potat? Potat the mandrake and thus he shall be known. Suppose I should give you a close up, but he's getting, Oh, look, he just leaned in for a cuddle. He heard me say I should give you a close up. And he was like, close up? Like this? That's very sweet. What a good boy. He's sort of um, got a little bit of weird kind of fibery stuff on him. Hoping that's not asbestos. His little leaf is not glued on there the best. Looks like it's not gonna have the best longevity, I would say, but He's heavy, he's heavy, and he's definitely going to sit on a shelf. Look, he's got a flat bottom, just like me. If his name is Potat, what's his name? He's hefty. He's a thick and hefty boy, and I love him. You like him? That was very cute. Oh my Lord, it's so hateful. Ah, brother, ah, what is that? I hate this. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable, I hate him. Although, to be honest, it's an improvement. Hi everyone, everyone. It's, it's me, Alex. Alex. So chat is currently suggesting that I paint him, and I don't think that's a bad idea at all. If you have any suggestions for how I should paint him, what sort of plant are we going to put in him? I'd like people to leave comments down below and tell me what sort of plant. I feel like a spider plant is probably going to be the best. String of pearls, string of hearts, anything like that that looks like hair. I would give this, on our little scale, from rank to jank, I'd probably say it's a two, because he looks like he's not made very well. Actually, as I'm looking through him right now, and you're not gonna be able to see this on camera, but just here, if I hold this up like that, I can see light shining through just here. So this is actually all cracked. He does have a hole to relieve himself at the bottom. So that's good. At least you can put the dirt straight in him and uh, plant straight into the dirt. I feel like, as far as the assignment goes, this being cursed, it's a 10 out of 10. Quality and execution, probably gets a three. It's not made very well. Would I buy this again? Absolutely the f not. But if this were my aesthetic, if I was into Goblin Core, then I would buy several of these in different positions and I'd put them outside my house with plants in them to scare off the post officer. Next item. Right. I see I really went hard on the garden decor. You know what? I love him. He's perfect in every way. Look at him. Oh my gosh, I just realized with the green screen, they're not even gonna be able to see. Oh dear. This is gonna have to be another scene with uh, no green screen. <laughs> He's a little snail with a skull for a shell. I love him. He's so much better than I thought he'd be. He's so cute. You know, as far as how this guy is made, compared to all these other things that I've pulled out, he's made the best. Whatever factory manufactured this little man did an amazing job. And if you too wish to own 
snull scale, then uh, buy, buy yourself one from Temu. He's going to look fantastic on a shelf with all of my plants with his brother Potat. I'm actually very, very, very happy with this. Look at him. I think that he needs like little googly eyes or something. The assignment was cursed items and the audience did in fact deliver. They are cursed, but in the best way possible, they are blurst. Okay. Ooh! This isn't cursed in the slightest. Oh, he's very cute. Oh, I love him. You know, I'm gonna need to take a moment to see how Floppy reacts to this. Actually, luckily for me, I do have an unpaid intern who I believe is watching this video right now. Could I please make a request of the unpaid intern to put his life at risk and retrieve Floppy the Ferocious from his cage? Here we go. I am being savaged. Ah, Floppy's... So angry. He's Come not going to see it. He will. <laughs> Floppy, I've brought you here to ask your opinion on something. You see this bird on my shoulder? Look at the bird, Floppy. Oh my god! child. Neither of these things are actually a pigeon, but uh, as far as one of these two things passing as a pigeon, it actually turns out the chicken passes more as a pigeon than the toy does. This is why, this is why you have an intern. Whoa! Floppy! Floppy no! Floppy no! Right, you've discovered it now. very very soft like he feels like he feels as soft as an actual bird i'm amazed his little feet are kind of a little bit derpy so he's not going to really sit properly it's very very hard to find plush toy pigeons because the world has forgotten about pigeons pigeons deserved better you know they happily make plushies of raccoons for squishmallows why not pigeons why have pigeons been so forgotten i'm so glad that i found a pigeon plush. He's not cursed, except that his face looks a little bit hateful. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. It's the fucking lamp! Look how small it is! Why is it so small? What do you think? Yeah, this is tiny. This is teeny tiny. This is a lot, lot smaller than I thought. I wonder, I don't think I can plug this in for you guys and show it lighting up because the webcam's there and the computer's there. So I'm gonna have to do this in another room. He's actually really cute. I'm gonna have to remove Floppy from the room. And kiss. <laughs> I would say that the chicken light takes out second place in items that I've purchased and how much joy they bring me. As far as being cursed, it is quite hateful. Quite hateful indeed, but you know what? If he was just a little bit bigger, this would be my favorite purchase from the internet. There's just something so incredible about having a lamp, which is a chicken, which is laying an egg, which is lighting up. Truly poetic. Look at his shiny butt. That is a very shiny butt. He's beautiful. I don't know about that. I think he is. I think he's very bright. I love him. I, USB I really, I did not expect his anus to be so blinding. The anusy? Nope, never saying that again. So, moving on. Right, well, this is great. This, you know what? This is perfect. Now, now we can match. This is fine. Hang on, if I put him, how close does he have to be for us to be the same, same size? Look, let's touch tips, just the tip. Eh. Oh, it's very soft. It is surprisingly very, very soft. As far as the quality goes, look, wouldn't know if it was Louis Vuitton, honestly. It is more alien than snail, that's that's true. It's a snailian, honestly. Snailian. Right. Oh no. The time has come. I don't believe it. The fry pan has arrived. Mm. 
I'm gonna take a selfie. The thing is, the the egg. Here's the egg. The egg has to go somewhere. It's got 3M tape on the back of it. Now I'll say this from the start. I'm really surprised by the quality of this fry pan. It is plastic, yes. It surprisingly does not feel like rubbish. It actually feels like if you went to a phone store and wanted to buy a fry pan for a phone case, it feels exactly what you'd expect. Practical? No. But who wanted it to be? And yes, trying to put it in our non-existent pockets on women's clothing, <laughs> truly, truly impossible. I'm just going to stick this little guy. Where should I put him? Here. This shouldn't be such a difficult decision. In the center? No. Maybe off to one side. Now, there's been a question in the chat about scratches. Uh, you didn't see it wrong. Those scratches have appeared from me touching it. It didn't come out of the box like that, but it's uh, gotten scratched very, very easily. It does double as a weapon. The handle is great. Handle's very good. This is the most wild image I've ever seen on my phone screen. The combination of fry pan chicken and snail eyes. How's that for a thumbnail? It's a selfie stick, is it? No. Look, it would have been really cool if you could, if this was retractable. That would, now that, TM, 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 TM. So let me just uh, take a photo. Hang on. There you go. Can confirm, it does work. Holds the phone quite well. Looks really, really stupid, but in the best way possible. This is skyrocketing to third place. They should send more eggs. Actually, it would be very fun to stick various things on here. If I had other food related stickies, how are we gonna go getting the phone out of there? Ugh. Oh dear, oh now we're encountering a problem. I just pushed and the silicon that's holding my phone just about popped off the fry pan. Oh dear, hang on, there we go. Okay, yep, all right. Can't say that this would last much more than one use because that's now, that's now peeling up there, as you can see. So hit or miss. Feels fine, but then you go to take the phone out and the phone part almost falls off. Novelty, 10 out of 10. Don't know if I'd call it curse, but it's definitely fun and could be used in a multitude of ways. Cosplay, personal protective equipment. Okay, next. Well, that's not cursed in the slightest. Phone case, very cute. That is so cute. Again, not cursed, but doesn't matter. I love it and it may actually alleviate some of the pain that I feel holding my phone 18 hours a day because now there's new places for my fingers to sit. Now I can have new weird bumps on my finger from where I've held my phone like this for months on end. Next item. Oh, not cursed in the slightest. More so very very cute. Lucky duck. Phone case. All right, now as far as the fit, all of these have been the correct size. Sometimes when you order from sketchy websites, you're not sure if it's gonna turn up and be the right size, but these have all been the right size for my phone. I actually love this. This is so cool and it's made really well. Cannot go wrong, literally cannot go wrong. Oh my God, it's just a bit weird that it says hot sale. Don't really like that. I'm gonna find a sticker to put over the hot, ow! Pecked my earring. It's a little bit difficult to get to the silence thing. You've got to have a long fingernail to get into the silence switch. But aside from that, volume buttons seem to be working just fine. Yep, and as far as ranking this out of the phone cases we've opened so far, this one gains the lead. I actually love it. I think this is going to be my new daily phone case. It's going to be my, my new daily. All right, next. Ooh, another phone case. I like that, um, sorry, we're just going to have to make a new intro card for this video and call it Temu phone case haul because there's a lot of phone cases coming out of this bag. Now I quite like this and there's actually a few people that this applies to. Let me just put it on my phone and um, you know who you are. Need I say more? This is great. Quality is surprisingly good. It's got a very unusual texture and it also smells like vanilla. I don't know why. The texture of this is really nice. It's a strange kind of silky, soft, rubbery kind of feeling. I actually, I'm gonna, this this is now the phone case. I'm gonna be using this one as my phone case. This one I was gonna use, but because it's got these sharp edges, I love this. Also, I like that if I'm taking a selfie, the, the phone case can do the confrontation for me, honestly, because I'm quite non-confrontational myself. Oh, slight problem. The button, oh, interesting. Okay, hang on. On the inside of this phone case, 
There's a little nub just here for the on and off switch, but the little nub kind of makes the switch get pressed really easily. It actually didn't need that little nub in there. I mean, the little nub is always useful, but you don't always need it. Sometimes the little nub can be a little bit too sensitive and that seems to be what's happening right now. So you don't want to hit that little nub too much or else it's going to get turned on too many times. We're talking about the phone case, people. Get your mind out of the gutter. Anyway, I like this one. I like this a lot. This is my favorite. Oh, actually this is my favorite. What do we think? Not even slightly cursed, just adorable little chickens. That is so cute. Ah, oh, this is this is my daily. This is now my daily phone case. This is perfect. Again, the quality of this case is great. It's really thick around the borders here, so it looks like if you drop it, it's actually going to offer really decent protection for the phone, even more so than this one, I think. This one would probably protect the phone quite well, but this one actually feels like those shock absorbing cases. It's not too sensitive on the nub, so that's always nice. And the sound buttons and also accessing the little switch here, easy as well. This is very cute, it's soft, it doesn't look like it's going to peel or anything like that. Only problem when you have transparent cases is they do kind of get dirty in here, but you know what? I'm willing to put up with it. This is perfect. It's my favorite. Okay, this is now my favorite phone case. Did I get any others? Sorry, I know I said that that was my favorite, but this is actually my favorite. Sorry, I'm definitely gonna keep not only my phone safe, but also, me as well. It's a knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Actually, interestingly enough, with the phone inside, it does in fact have the weight of a cleaver. And I feel like you would, ow, fuck. You would genuinely do some, looking to protect yourself or deal some damage or take phone calls. You can do all three. This is fantastic. I love this. It's, um, it's not, sharp because it's not metal but you know if 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 i had a watermelon or something here I, it would cut right through it like ow ow yeah it's not metal but it's a very very hard plastic it doesn't feel like this is going to stick very well to the knife i feel like if you tried to take your phone out of this too many times this would peel straight off like the thing that's holding the phone in it and also the handle the handle feels really bad. The handle feels so cheap and nasty. The, the fry pan actually felt better, surprisingly. The fry pan, the quality of this handle feels a little bit nicer than the quality of this. Just the handle though. The handles, can you hear? It's very cheap. I don't think that you're buying this phone case for practicality. So if you're just getting it again for cosplay, or just for fun, just for the sake of the selfies. You just gotta be careful pulling your phone in and out too many times, cause you may tear off the phone component. But you know, get yourself one of these and get your friend this. And um, what more could you want from a phone case? What more could you possibly want? So that's now my, my favorite phone case, perhaps not gonna be my daily. I think, uh, is that my last phone case? No, there's another phone case. This has been my first disappointment, I would say. Here's the phone case. And compared to the pictures on the website, it doesn't look anywhere near as Frutiger Aero as it did. Uh, it doesn't look anywhere near as, as sort of juicy and plush and squishy. Like it may look nice enough on camera, but it looked a lot more thick and luscious in the pictures. It's just fine, you know, it's fine. But you can see, uh, hopefully you can see the difference. Uh, actually, it probably, probably isn't really going to come up that well on camera, but when I'm holding these two phone cases, if you were thinking about how much you'd pay for it, you'd be like, that one would be five and that would be 30. If you went into a phone store, and trust me, I know, because I went with my friend Tash to go get a phone case for her Samsung Flip, and they were like, 40 to $60 and I was like, hang on, phone cases cost that much? Cause I only ever get my phone cases off Wish and AliExpress. And now evidently Temu or Timu. Oh, there's a reason that that phone case wasn't as juicy. That's why, oh, it's got a pop socket thing. Hang on, that's supposed to go there. 
that's why. Because that's meant to be, it's a pop socket. Oh my God. Okay, this, this goes from like a two to a four, solid four. That is much better. Okay, next. Oh. You a pink snailian or a yellow snailian? You know what, I, I can recommend the snailians. I actually, they're very comfortable. I almost forgot I had it on, to be honest. It was so plush and delightful. Oh, good. Finally, I'm now the proud owner of the chicken socks. Hello, child. You feel more at home now. She's like, don't touch me. <laughs> These are great. They're very soft and they're very stretchy and they're very long. L look how long they are. We've got some people in chat saying they've always wanted a pair of these and I would suggest getting help. Um, you're not going to get a close up of my feet today. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be putting these on right now. But uh, there's one last thing, just one more. And I'm actually really sad because it means that the haul is over. But our final item of the show is surprisingly heavy. Who remembers this? Look at him. He was a cursed item that was suggested to me and I actually love him. He's an anglerfish. Now he's not made of the best material. He's not sterling silver or anything, but he is hefty. He is quite hefty, a lot heavier than I thought. And uh, the chain, not bad either, honestly. What do we think? Do we like him? Mama angler, <laughs> you want to touch it? Oh, it's a she, the males are tiny. Well, there you go. It's a mama angler fish. I actually love it. Did you know that Mama anglers suck the male into their body when they breed. Love that for her. Guys, that's everything from Temu. I hope that you liked today's video. I hope that you liked checking out some of these cursed items. I know not all of them are cursed. So if you do in fact want to see an even more cursed ball from Temu, leave a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. With that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!